Let's see two trigonometric facts proved visually in two minutes. Let's draw a right triangle where one of the angles is labeled by the Greek letter theta. Assume the hypotenuse has a length of 1 and the opposite side then has a length of sine of theta. The complementary angle is pi over 2 minus theta. We can take a second copy of this triangle and reflect it, creating a larger isosceles triangle as shown here. This triangle has an angle 2 theta and the opposite side length is then 2 times the sine of theta. We can use this triangle in two different ways. First of all, from the law of sines, we see that sine of 2 theta divided by 2 sine of theta must equal the sine of pi over 2 minus theta divided by 1. This means that sine of 2 theta equals 2 sine of theta times the sine of pi over 2 minus theta. But the sine of pi over 2 minus theta is equal to the cosine of theta. Therefore, we see that sine of 2 theta equals 2 times the sine of theta times the cosine of theta. Now let's apply the law of cosines to the triangle pictured. From the law of cosines, we see that 2 times the sine of theta squared equals 1 squared plus 1 squared minus 2 times 1 times 1 times the cosine of 2 theta. Dividing this equality by 2 and isolating the cosine of 2 theta, we see that cosine of 2 theta equals 1 minus 2 times sine squared theta. We have used one triangle diagram along with the law of sines and the law of cosines to prove that sine of 2 theta equals 2 times the sine of theta times cosine theta and cosine of 2 theta equals 1 minus 2 times the sine squared of theta. These are known as the double angle identities for sine and cosine. Implicit in this diagram is that the angle theta is acute. Do you think the identities hold when theta is obtuse? Can you prove it? Is there a visual proof showing the double angle identities in that case?